So the trend of turning Disney's animated classics into horror movies continues with Cinderella being next up to get the gore treatment. This is a trend, honestly, I'm not hating on. I find this a lot of fun. We've had Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, Peter Pan, Neverland Nightmares coming up. We got Bambi's Reckoning. And this is something I think it's a fun twist and something new that we finally are getting from filmmakers. It's been the same old, same old for so long, but you have to be a fan of low budget films because that's exactly what these are. They're low budget. They don't have the fancy makeup or costumes and the CGI, nothing like that. So keep that in mind if you haven't seen any of them yet. Now, Cinderella is next up, according to both Fangoria, Bloody Disgusting, and uh, it seems to be trending on a lot of different websites now. It says in the article, first Winnie the Pooh, then Peter Pan, now it's Cinderella's time to shine in the blood-soaked spotlight. Now, according to an article in Fangoria, it says that Chapdog Films and ITN Studios are gearing up the film Cinderella's Curse next month in the UK. And by the sounds of it, the well-recognized princess immortalized by Disney will be getting rather gory. Now, as far as those who are involved in the film, says Louisa Warren is set to direct. Harry Boxley is doing the screenplay. Kelly Rian Sanson is set to play Cinderella. Chrissy Wuna will be the fairy godmother. And Danielle Scott will be the stepmother. Now, according to IMDb, which has been known to change, they are saying that Maya Brown is going to be one of the evil stepsisters and Lauren Budd will be the other. So again, that has not been confirmed by anybody other than IMDb. So I'm going to take that one with a grain of salt because that website has been known to change from time to time. So we'll keep an eye on that and find out if that holds or sticks or if anybody else starts reporting on that one. Now, plot details are being kept under wraps, so I don't know anything that's going on in that department. We can only guess that something is horribly wrong with the ball and people will die or maybe she has to kill off a stepsister or two to get to the ball. I can only imagine the possibilities here. Maybe the stepsisters and stepmother are the ones killing people and she's the one forced to clean up all the blood. And then she, in a vengeful rage at the end of the movie, kills them off. It could go anyway. I'm actually very excited to see this. The details are, again, scarce, but I am truly intrigued. Now, director Louisa Ward did have this to say. This is an incredibly unique spin on Cinderella we all love and know. There are going to be some truly horrific deaths by her hand. I think the gore hounds are in for a treat in my dark retelling. Right there, I'm sold. I have to see this movie. I don't care if it ends up being the worst thing I've ever seen. Or the best, it doesn't matter. I have to see it just on ideas alone. Just to see a gory Cinderella, I, it's how can you go wrong? I mean, granted, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey wasn't the best movie out there. The costumes were way beyond bad because you could see the actor's wrists through the costume. So in that regard, eh, not great. But this one... We're, we're working with humans here, so the costumes should be pretty interesting and hard to mess up. Well, Cinderella came out in 1950 and hasn't quite hit that public domain yet, so they have to walk very carefully, not treading on Disney's toes and getting in trouble for any copyrights. Now, that being said, the fairy tale itself is up for pretty much anybody to interpret. But let me know what your thoughts are on a gory Cinderella movie coming out. I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know why. I just think gory Disney movies is a, is a fun, interesting twist. I just feel like at some point the writers are kind of running out of things to write. So now we're just going to do different things like this to try to mix it up a little bit. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Drop a like on the video for me. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.